Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about China's High Speed Rail Network. China's High Speed Rail System is one of the largest and most advanced in the world, with over 22,000 miles of track and trains that can reach speeds of up to 217 miles per hour. But first, if you are watching our videos and enjoying it, please consider hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We will always be bringing you interesting content like this, thank you. So let's dive into what makes China's High Speed Rail so impressive. Let's talk about the history of High Speed rail in China. The first high-speed train in China was launched in 2007, and since then, the network has grown rapidly. China's government has invested heavily in high-speed rail as a way to improve transportation, infrastructure, and connect cities across the country. China's high-speed rail network is constantly expanding and improving, with plans to connect even more cities in the future. Currently, the network connects most major cities in China including Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. The trains also connect to other transportation hubs, like airports and bus stations, making it easier for people to travel to and from the high-speed rail stations. One of the most impressive features of China's high-speed rail is its speed. The trains are capable of traveling up to 217 miles per hour, making them some of the fastest in the world. China's high-speed rail system is known for its advanced technology and innovation. The trains are equipped with state-of-the-art systems, like automatic train, control and train-to-ground communication systems, which ensure the safety and efficiency of the trains. The trains also use cutting-edge materials and designs, like aerodynamic shapes and lightweight construction which make them faster and more energy efficient. But speed is not the only impressive feature. The trains are also designed to be extremely comfortable and efficient, with amenities like spacious seats, free Wi-Fi, and even onboard restaurants. In addition to their speed, China's high-speed trains are designed to be comfortable for passengers. The trains are spacious, with wide seats that provide plenty of legroom. They are also equipped with air conditioning, which is especially important during the hot and humid summers in China. Many high-speed trains also have amenities, like power outlets and reading lights, which make it easy for passengers to work or relax during their journey. China's high-speed trains use advanced technology to ensure a smooth and comfortable ride for passengers. This includes features like active suspension systems, which reduce vibrations and jolts, and noise reduction technologies, which make the train quieter for passengers. The trains are also equipped with advanced safety systems like automatic train control and collision avoidance technology. China's high-speed trains are equipped with a range of amenities that make the journey more enjoyable for passengers. Many trains have onboard restaurants serving a variety of hot and cold meals, snacks, and beverages. Free Wi-Fi is also available on most trains, allowing passengers to stay connected and productive during their journey. Some trains even have dedicated business class carriages with private seating areas and other amenities. Overall, the features of China's high-speed trains make them some of the most comfortable and efficient in the world. While speed is certainly a key selling point, it's clear that the Chinese government and rail companies have also put a lot of effort into making the journey as enjoyable and convenient as possible for passengers. But that is not all. High-speed rail is often seen as a more environmentally friendly mode of transportation compared to cars and planes. China's high-speed rail system is no exception. The trains are designed to be more energy efficient than traditional trains and they emit fewer greenhouse gases per passenger than cars or planes. This has helped to reduce China's carbon footprint and improve air quality in many parts of the country. That is one of the major benefits of China's high-speed rail network. It has helped to reduce air pollution in many cities. By providing a cleaner and more efficient alternative to road travel, the high-speed trains have helped to reduce the number of cars on the road which in turn has reduced air pollution and improved air quality in many areas. It has helped to reduce the country's dependence on fossil fuels, 
by using more energy-efficient technologies and relying less on cars and planes for transportation. The high-speed trains have helped to reduce carbon emissions and promote sustainable development. But there are another benefits in China's high-speed rail network. One of them is that has made travel much more convenient for people across the country. With high-speed trains connecting major cities, people can now travel long distances in a matter of hours instead of spending days on the road. But there are another benefits in China's high-speed rail network. One of them is that has made travel much more convenient for people across the country. With high-speed trains connecting major cities, people can now travel long distances in a matter of hours instead of spending days on the road. It has significantly reduced travel time between major cities. For example, the journey from Beijing to Shanghai, which used to take over 10 hours by conventional train, now takes just 4.5 hours by high-speed train. This has made it easier for people to travel for work or leisure and has helped to connect different regions of the country more efficiently. This also has helped to boost economic growth and improve quality of life for many Chinese citizens. China's high-speed rail system has had a significant impact on the country's economy. By connecting cities and regions more efficiently, the high-speed trains have helped to boost tourism, trade, and economic development by making it easier and faster for people to travel between different parts of the country. The high-speed trains have helped to promote domestic tourism and encourage economic growth in different regions. They have also made it easier for businesses to connect with suppliers and customers in different parts of the country, which has helped to boost trade and commerce. The construction and operation of the high-speed rail network has also created many jobs in China. This includes jobs in the construction industry, as well as jobs in related industries like hospitality and tourism. The high-speed trains themselves require a large workforce to operate and maintain, which has also created many jobs for skilled workers. This generated jobs both in the construction and operation of the trains and in related industries like hotels and restaurants. Of course, Building and maintaining such a massive network is not without its challenges. One of the biggest issues facing China's high-speed rail system is cost. The initial investment required to build the network was enormous, and ongoing maintenance costs are also high. There have also been concerns about safety, with some accidents and incidents occurring in the past. As with any transportation infrastructure, safety and Maintenance are major concerns for China's high-speed rail system. In the past, there have been some high-profile accidents and incidents on the trains which have raised concerns about safety standards. However, the government has taken steps to improve safety, including increasing inspections and implementing new safety protocols. Maintenance is also a key factor in keeping the trains running smoothly and efficiently and China's rail companies invest heavily in ongoing maintenance and repairs. Despite these challenges, China's high-speed rail network remains an impressive feat of engineering and transportation infrastructure. With plans to continue expanding the network in the future, it's clear that high-speed rail will continue to play an important role in China's economy and society for years to come. Overall, China's high-speed rail system is an impressive example of modern transportation infrastructure. While there are certainly challenges and concerns to be addressed, the benefits of high-speed rail are clear, both in terms of convenience and economic development. It will be interesting to see how China's high-speed rail network continues to evolve and expand in the years to come. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.